Well, hello there, second graders and second grade families. I am Mr. Demony, and I am excited to bring you this book talk about the book Stink, The Incredible Shrinking Kid. When I first looked at this title, and even before I opened up the book, I was wondering to myself, is it possible for a kid as young as Stink to actually shrink? Well, in this book, Stink, who is the younger brother of Judy Moody, and you might be familiar with who Judy Moody is, wants to be measured every morning when he wakes up. Before he goes to school, before he starts his day, the first thing he wants to do is have his sister Judy measure how tall he is. And every day, every morning, he is that same height, three feet, eight inches tall. But then there's just one time during the evening at night before he goes to bed that he wants to be measured just one more time that day. And what he finds out is after Judy measures him, he's actually just a little bit smaller than he was that morning. He actually shrunk a little bit. And a discussion that I was having with myself is, is it possible to really shrink during the day? Is it possible to really be smaller before you go to bed at night compared to when you wake up in the morning? And so one thing that you could do at home as a scientist is to actually measure yourself in the morning before you go to school and then measure yourself before you go to bed and see, are you really the same height? Or are you just a little bit shorter? And if you are shorter, I wonder why. And then how come you're taller again just by a little bit in the morning? It's a great conversation that you can have with those around you at home. So this book is full of just great discussions to have with those of you, of those with those that are at home with you, whether it's a brother or sister, a mom and dad, a grandma, grandpa, an aunt or uncle, whoever would be maybe a cousin or a neighbor. This book makes you think more like a scientist, more like a mathematician, a reader, a writer, and even a historian as you read this book. And so the idea of Stink wanting to be measured made me think about, are there some objects that you have at home that you can use to measure yourself with? Maybe it's a wingspan. Maybe it's your height. And so behind me, you might have noticed that there's some objects that I taped to this fancy looking kind of black screen here and and at school you might use a yardstick to measure you might use just a standard ruler we have these pattern blocks a triangle and a square you might line those up and see how tall you are if you line up how many triangles how many squares tall you are even popsicle sticks some of these protractors we use to measure as well. So maybe you have some tools, some measuring tools at home that you can use to measure how tall you are. And you could also measure how tall other objects are. Maybe how tall a bookcase is, a TV stand might be, a table at home. You could use a couple different measuring tools and see what the difference is. Because I'm sure it's going to take less yardsticks to measure something tall as compared to a popsicle stick because we know a yardstick is taller. So it's going to take less of those as well. You can also think about the relationship between Judy and Stink. Maybe you have a sibling at home or a best friend that lives next door, a best friend in class or a cousin that you see. And think about how they get along. Do they get along all the time in this book? Are there things that Judy does to stink that causes him to go a little crazy and and be a little annoyed as what sometimes older siblings like to do to younger siblings? I am an older sibling. I did that to my brother. I drove him crazy when we were younger. And so this discussion is... is, um, What you could think of is... What other parts of this story were your favorite? I love the part when Judy's idea of, you know, Stink, if you just would put hair gel and stick up your hair, you would be taller. She was thinking of anything that you could do to be taller. Some of you might wear taller shoes to be taller. Some of you might wear high heels to be taller, right? But we had this idea in this book of actually having hair gel. But what happened? His hair turned orange. I thought that was great. Kind of like a prank. 
Maybe Judy knew that was going to happen. Maybe she didn't. But we knew that because Stink's hair was raised, he actually was just a little bit taller. So you can also think of, of being a historian as well. When they talked about President's Day, do you know what President's Day is? You could do a little bit of research and you could actually do some writing about President's Day. There's some great information from this book besides just reading for enjoyment. There's things you can learn and you can do at home. And so I know that you are going to enjoy this book just like I did. And I look forward to the conversations that I can have with you at school as I see you in the hallway, as I see you in the lunchroom, as I see you outside, in hopes that you enjoy this book just as much as I did. And I know that the other teachers who are going to read this book enjoyed as well. So happy reading and I look forward to seeing you soon.